So to remind you, ion channels are specific to a certain ion. So they only let in the ion that they are evolutionarily designed to let in. Some are more specific than others. So there's potassium ion channels, sodium ion channels, chloride ion channels. There are some that let in sodium and calcium, et cetera. Some of them are a little bit more um, lenient. And they, I like this image here. Um, this is showing your alpha helices that make up a protein. First of all, I like this. I want to remind you that proteins are not just blobs. They are made up of alpha helices and beta sheets that determine their specific structure. And that is related to how they can have specificity for certain ions. Um, this term select, selectivity filter is the idea that this particular channel is selective to potassium, right? Based on the structure of its alpha helices, of, of its self. Um, potassium and sodium are very similar size and they're the same charge. So it's amazing that our proteins can be this specific. Um, the other thing is this example here is a leak channel. So, right, a leak channel is a non-gated channel. This means that it allows for constant movement of ions down their electrochemical gradients. Um, so this, now channels, right, we're talking about permeability, not about drive. So the other component besides drive is important to consider for whether an ion will go in or out of the cell is the channel that allows for permeability or lack of permeability. So that's what this is about. So let's do learning check four. Name the three types of gated ion channels. So opposed to non-gated or leak, three types of gated. And do they use active or passive transport? 